Welcome to BAC Welder Welding. Today we're going to talk about the Alpha Q351 welding machine dedicated to the pipe welding industry. We're going to demonstrate and talk about the functions of the machine, especially the waveforms that's been exclusively designed by EWM for this industry. It's a 350 amp machine at 100% duty cycle. We're going to set a few parameters here and show you the functions and the ease of how to put a pipe root run in and to a fill cap. This machine opens up here, we've got a double, double wire feeder. This side we're going to do the pipe root run with solid MIG wire. We're going to use a gas, which is an Argon CO2 blend, for both sides, both for the flush cord and for the solid wire. It's simple to set a program in here. What we look at on, on the features on here, we have all the waveforms. Uh, we have a, a pipe solution, which is the the program we're going to dial into the machine, it's simply by selecting pipe solution, which is here, the, so the type of gas, the type of wire, and the size of wire. So we come across and we dial in 174. 174 is the program we want to use for this welding application. While we've got the door open, we show you we have our wire comes through, all the machines come out as a standard four drive feeder unit. Up in through your gun, we can close this off once we've got our program. We do our, our job list is on the front of the machine. 174 is the job which is dedicated for the root run. EWM manipulates the waveform in the short circuit mode to give you the desired arc transfer and constant backbeat. Once we've dialed in the program, then you can select either Amperage with voltage or plate thickness or wire feed, whatever procedure you want to run. Today we're going to go on amperage. We can dial in 100, 150 amps. Your voltage will adjust synergically. You have got a small trim button on this side. Should you want more heat or, or more voltage or less voltage into, the, into your procedure, that'll return back to your voltage as soon as you're welding. Uh, time is up. We have a couple of uh, couple of functions here, a couple of trigger functions. We have a standard trigger. We have a trigger latch. You, you, you pull the trigger, you let it go, your wire will keep feeding. We have a couple of special buttons for spot timing and also a hot start and a down slope can be introduced into the, into the weld procedure. The hot start, you pull the trigger, it'll ramp up to a percentage that you have dialed in on your procedure, it'll come down to your welding procedure, you let the trigger go, it'll downslope a percentage of your overall current at a given time. This machine also will allow you to put a pulse program in simply by pushing this button, pulse on, pulse off. It also has a double pulsing program as well where you can pulse the wire in this format up here. But once, we want to, once we've dialed in our, our job, set 174, we're going to start talking about the pipe solution program, which we're going to do on a piece of pipe very shortly. So I'm going to dial in roughly what I think will be okay. Another thing we have, the, the unit is water cooled. Should you want to be doing some high procedures on some force arc, there is a program in here called force arc which could be running uh, uh, above 30 volts, and water-cooled guns is a, are a must if you're hanging on to something above 30 volts. With this gun that comes standard, has some controls. We have up and down controls for your amperage, or flick between procedures. Now, should I have a procedure that I like in the root run, what I can do here, I can actually change on the gun. 15 procedures I can change. So what I can do is while I'm doing the root run, should I get into a position or a bit of misalignment or a root gap that's a little bit larger, I can flick between procedures or change on the fly. Coming down in the difficult overhead position, that can be quite easily changed on the fly with this gun. Once the root run is completed, you can place this gun down, come to the other side wire feeder, As soon as you pick this, this torch up, pull the trigger, the procedure will shift across. But we have to check to make sure we've got the right 
job list. And on this one, as you've seen on the door, the job list was 2.43. So we're after 2.43. And that'll give the correct waveform for flux cord. Then you do your fill cap. Simple as that. It's an easy solution for pipe welding. Now that we've got our job list set and our welding parameters set, we're ready to weld. I've got a 300 millimeter nominal bore with a 60 degree included angle, around about a three millimeter root gap and a 1.6 mil landing. Before we strike the arc, we have to have our safety gear on. Fully covered as we've got arc rays, we've got our gloves, a welding shield, our steel cap boots, long pants, and a jacket before we start welding. We're going to put the root run in with the first wire, which is a solid wire root run, and then we're going to do flush core fill cap. If you're out in the marketplace as a welder, and, and you guys that do some welding out there, especially in drag line boom board welding. Excess penetration can fail your job. This monitors your background and will give you an excellent back bead all the way through, minimum penetration. This is what these waveforms are dedicated to. Remember to feather your tacks and stop starts to eliminate any possible root run defects. Once you've done your root run, you can then move on to the next gun, which is your flux cord fill cap. Pull that trigger, the machine will switch across, you're ready to do your flux cord fill cap. Excellent penetration with a controlled back feed and no suck back.